give thanks unto Yahweh. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him glory in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek Yahweh. Great is Yahweh and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Give unto Yahweh the glory due unto his name. Throughout scripture, the Heavenly Father urges everyone to call upon his name. Praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people. Make mention that his name is exalted. I love the Lord because he hath heard my voice and my supplications. I found trouble and sorrow. Then called I upon the name of the Lord. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. O Lord, truly I am thy servant. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, however, is not his name. It is only a title like Mr. or Mrs. In order to call upon the name of the Heavenly Father, one must know his name. When the scriptures were translated, the Father's personal name was substituted by the title Lord. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Lord, a title, should not have been substituted in place of the sacred name. The original word in Hebrew is Yahweh, which means I am that I am. It is on this name, Yahweh, that all are invited to call. At the burning bush, Moses told Yahweh, when I return to Egypt and say, the God of your fathers has sent me to you, they are going to ask, what is his name? What shall I say to them? As translated into English by the King James Version of the Bible, the answer given Moses was, I am that I am. Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. And he said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, Yahweh hath sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Before repeating the name that Moses already knew, Yahweh explained his name by using the same verb in a form that revealed the power within his name. The phrase translated as I am that I am comes from the Hebrew word Hahya. It means to be. When Moses asked, who shall I say sent me? The answer was be, be. Hahya is a very powerful word. The use of Hahya in such passages declares the actual release of power so that the accomplishment is assured. Hahya was used at the creation of the world. Light be, light was. Lights be in the heavens, lights were. The name Yahweh comes from the verb Hahya or be, and emphasizes that the Creator is self-existent. He was not created by anyone else and does not get his life from any other source but himself. The Heavenly Father and Creator urges all to call upon his name, Yahweh. His name itself is a promise that he will be everything his children need. Titles contain no power whatsoever. The title Lord may refer to a king, a prince, a titled member of the nobility, a high official or dignitary, or even, a long time ago, even 
a husband. To call the monarch of the universe simply Lord does not clarify which Lord is being called upon and does not access the power of his name. Scripture reveals that the word of Yahuwah contains the power to do what it says. By the word of Yahuwah were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. Yahuwah did not form each bird, fish, leaf, and flower by hand, for he spoke, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. There is tremendous creative power in the word of Yahweh. He urges, seek Yahweh while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth and make it bring forth and bud, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It my word shall not return to me void, but it, my word, shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. The holy name of Yahweh contains all the power that called the universe into existence. The name of the Almighty, I am, is itself a promise that he will be everything his children need. Thus says Yahweh who made it, Yahweh who formed it to establish it. Yahweh is his name. Call to me and I will answer you. Do you need wisdom? I am wisdom. Be wise. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. Do you need forgiveness? I am your forgiver. Be forgiven. For you, Yahweh, are good and ready to forgive and abundant in mercy to all those who call upon you. Do you need courage? I am your strength. Be brave. For I, Yahweh, your mighty one, will hold your right hand, saying to you, fear not, I will help you. Do you long for the salvation of your children? I am your savior. Be saved. Thus says Yahweh, I will contend with him who contends with you, and I will save your children. Call upon Yahweh. His name in itself is an encouragement that he will hear and answer you. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. <laughs>